Hey baddies. So did you think that I was going to miss the semi-annual sale? I know that you didn't think I was going to miss the semi-annual sale. I went, I went to the body shop and I went to Bath and Body Works. So this is the Bath and Body Works semi-annual. That's, that's a good amount. Um, but anyway, some things, um, happy holidays to everybody. And this is the most wonderful time of year. If you like, if you, if you're good with yourself and you don't spend too much on yourself and you spend more on other people and you take care of other people all the time, but you also want to treat yourself to something, this is the best time to treat yourself. So on that note, if you are shopping at Bath and Body Works online, use the Rakuten link. I'm, I'm linking it in the description box and it's also on the about me section of my page. It gives you cash back. It's always 1% for Bath and Body Works. If you're shopping at the body shop, it fluctuates between 4%, 8%, sometimes 10 or 15. It's insane. But anyway, you just get cash back. That's great. So, do you want to help you out with the savings? Speaking of savings, I needed to help myself out and I didn't because guess who forgot to bring his coupon? Me. I did. This guy. I have this $10 off of 40 coupon and I had to use the 20% off coupon that was in my email because I forgot this one. I knew I had a coupon and I did, did just did not bring it. So, I guess I'll have to go back. Um, the 20% off isn't the worst because 10 off of 40 is 20, it's, what is that? 10 off of 40. Why am I blanking? 10 off of 40 is actually 25%. So 25% versus 20%, eh, it's a negligible 5% difference. But anyway, I digress. There's going to be a special surprise at the end of this video. Um, if you want some, you're like, just show us what you've got. Um, if you want some heads up news, um, holiday presents, I'm, I'm probably... Some of them are candles, so I'm going to show you the candles in a separate video. Um, the thing that I really, really wanted, not from anybody else, but I just wanted a new phone because my phone, it's an iPhone 6, which I know it's up to like the 11R or XR or something, something. And I just, I can't, I can't legitimize spending the money on a new phone. Um, I'm just putting it out there. I'm just like, somehow... Somehow, somehow, I'm just putting out there, into the ether. Um, and I didn't spend a lot of money at Bath and Body Works. I, I'm being irresponsible. So, oh, 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 uh, I'll show you this though. So this was, this was actually me being responsible, but also treating myself. There's a place next to Bath and Body Works by Grand Central, um, Hotel Chocolat. It's a British cocoa grower, apparently. I don't know uh, much about them, but it's 100% engaged ethics cocoa, doing the right thing, not just saying it. I love this store, they serve coffee, mixed with chocolate and you could choose 70%, 85% or something else. I don't know. And I wanted it and so I got it. Maybe that's why I have a lot of energy right now. Um, when you think coffee and chocolate mixed together, you think, um, you think bathroom. I don't know. But thankfully I never have like any strange reaction. A lot of hand use. That's why my mom. Um, like you, I never have any strange reaction to coffee and uh, chocolate together. So that's fine. Lucky for me. But they were having um, like 50% off and more at Hotel du Chocolat or Hotel Chocolat. So I got myself some treats. I got this thing that I wanted when it was full price, but I refused to spend $15 on a piece of chocolate. I know that's probably not a lot for some people, but like I'm like I'm just a regular standard issue person. So the festive wreath, it is a festive wreath. You seal the nuts. It's 70% dark fruit, 70% dark fruit and nut, and it's also vegan. 70% dark chocolate is my dark chocolate jam. Like, that's my favorite because too much more than that is too dark for me. I'm not a fan of that. It's small. It's 3.53 ounces. It's basically a snack. But um, I'm looking forward to eating this. I think it was like $6 instead of $13. There's something around there. And then this guy, this, was the last one in the store. It is the advent calendar for two. Now, don't judge. This is for me. Um, and that's fine. They're truffles. So it tells you what truffles are on the back. And there's gingerbread praline, salted caramel cream, pecan praline, butterscotch, Madagascar vanilla, raspberry rush signature praline, and clementine. Sweet clementine. Ba, ba, ba. Um, so it's 10.58 ounces. It was 75% off. It was like normally 60 and it was reduced to about 15. So I said, yes, please. I could use almost a pound of chocolates. So got that for myself um i am not you know i i my videos are all over the place but so um i'm still technically single and i'm okay with that and it's interesting to see all my friends groupings and pairings for the holidays and they're like just me 
thanks, I'll come to your party, I'll come to your to your dinner or to your, um, what's the other word for it? I actually, not just dinner, but the dessert portion is my favorite. But can I just, like skip the dinner and just go to the dessert? Because that's basically what I want. Cheesecake. So, um, now on to Bath and Body Works. We're only about 25 minutes in. Uh, all right, so first things first, Mary, I only bought things that were 75% off and I used my coupon on top to get an additional 20% off. Bath and Body Works, Mary Cherry Cheer. I love the scent of cherries. I love the scent of raspberries. I did smell something called raspberry sugar. They had the shower gel and some other stuff. That was only interesting. I don't, don't hate. I usually don't like the lotions or their body creams or the body butters. The body butters go on like cream cheese. They leave a film on you. So I never, ever, ever buy their body butters. It's a lot of bees. Um, but I wanted the shower gel. I smelled the raspberry sugar and it didn't smell like raspberries. It smelled like... It smelled like a raspberry perfume. It smelled like it was mixed with chemicals. And I was like, I, I love raspberries, but I'm so spoiled by the body shop when they have their raspberry stuff, which I think smells like raspberries. It just smells like raspberry juice and raspberry drizzle. That's me squeezing the raspberries. So Mary Cherry Cheer, Shea, Vitamin E, Shower Gel. Um, it's, it's allegedly maraschino cherry, pomegranate cider, and sugared musk. Oh my. I think I only got one of these. It does not smell nearly as good as the cherry candle that's called Mary Cherry, but it pretty much smell. it's got that fragrant, it reminds me of Red Velvet Sugar, is that the name of that? I used to like this perfume or cologne by them. Velvet Sugar, I think that's what it was called. It smells like Velvet Sugar mixed with cherries. So if you like Velvet Sugar, that old, old, old scent, I actually still have a, an EDT, brand new, still sealed inside of its box. Um, so pick up one of these. The regular price was twelve dollars and fifty cents, but with my discount, it came out to cheaper. That's the that's the exact amount. It came out to cheaper. They want to say it came out to three dollars and no cheaper. Two dollars and sixty nine cents. No, two dollars and forty nine cents. That's great. Two forty nine can't beat that. So I also picked up. This is Bubble Bath Santa's Blueberry Shortbread because I love this and I love blueberries as long as they're like mixed with something bready or desserty. So I wanted to smell this. I have a friend who picked up, I think he owns seven of these. He might have finished one already. He bought them when they were buy three, get three free. It actually, there are so many sirens. It, it smells like a shortbread cookie with pretty much fresh blueberries squeezed on top and left. Like they just splattered there, the little like, Blueberry carcass is left on top, a little bit squished, squished. I made up a new word, squished. Yeah. Oh, oh, and it also smells like pancakes. Whoa. Oh, no wonder why my friend's in love with this. Um, it says, it doesn't really say. It says it has aloe. So, hello. Um, it is eight fluid ounces. And the retail on this was more expensive than I thought. The retail on this was fourteen fifty. So this came out to... I'm actually gonna say, uh, 269, or that was the shower gel. I don't even know. Um, it looks like the most expensive thing was 269, so we'll say it was 269, okay? Everything here was in the $2 vicinity. I think I picked up two of these, by the way. Oh, <gasps> if I didn't, I'm going to be, oh, I didn't. Oh, man. Wah, wah. You know what I did? I didn't pick up two of them, but I picked up one, and I picked up, um, they only had two left of this one, and it actually smelled really good. Then another one, I think it was green, it was pine, or I was like, I don't want, I don't want to smell like a Christmas tree. That's not happening. But Crystal Candy Rose smells amazing. They only had two. Now I know why they only had two, because this is, was, this, from memory, smells amazing. It smells like roses. It's the lightest rose scent. You know that how I love the, how I really enjoyed the rose water and ivy candle? Speaking of, there's a candle lamp right there. It fits a three-wick candle. And don't go anywhere, because there's not just body care in this. There's a lot more. It just, it smells like roses, but it says it's crystal candy rose, so I don't know what the crystal in the candy is, but it smells like the nicest, lightly scented rose petals. It just smells like rose petals. It's, it, it's beautiful. So if you want a nice relaxing bath, $14.50, get it now with your coupon, and it'll be like $2.69. I also picked up, okay, good, so I feel a little bit better now. I picked up two of these Santa's Blueberry shortbread shower gels. Now I am not against using this as a shower gel at all, but because it was a little bit more expensive and you got less um, in terms of ounces, you only get eight and these you get 10. I picked up two of these. It's just a phenomenal scent. So let's give it a whiff. 
This smells more, to me, it smells heavier on the pancake. But wow, it smells so good. I also would love to know, why isn't this blue in color when this is blue in color? I don't know. Like, Mary Cherry Cheer's got the purple color, right? So anyway. Um, and why is Mary Cherry Cheer purple when it should technically be like a reddish color? I don't know. Also picked up, more shower gels. Um, this is Desert Wildflower. Don't forget, desert has one S and dessert has two S's, because what would you want more of? You want more desserts with two S's. So Desert Wildflower. It is a moisturizing body wash. This was not as expensive as I, as I thought it would be. This was $12.50. So this, this is the same price, the moisturizing one is the same price as the regular one, which I mean is also technically moisturizing, but you know that these, the only, the only glitch about these, by the way, is that the pour out spout when you open it up is so big that I feel like I use this so much quicker than any other shower gel. Um, let me tell you what it smells like. So it contains shea butter, coconut oil, and cocoa butter. And it says it contains wildflowers, jasmine, and creamy sandalwood as the scent notes. It is a really, the first thing you pick up is the woody scent. Yeah, it's, it's this nice, basically this is, I think these are all gender neutral, because who's to say? But this is completely a strange different scent in that it combines things that are like woodsy and also floral together. So if you want something that will make you kind of shake your head and go, what is that? Then by all means, like you might want to try this. So should I take my glasses off? Should I? I can see now. No, I'm kidding. Um, he can't see without his glasses. Uh, the person who noticed that, yes, that was from my girl and my other video. So, and also picked up this right here. Santa's blueberry shortbread. Now I'm putting the glasses back on because I feel like you need glasses sometimes. So. Santa's Blueberry Shortbread. This is the Fine Fragrance Mist. I only picked up one of this. I like that these little stars that are embossed are shiny. I don't know if you could, do you see that picking it up there? So, little, they're a little bit shiny. They're really cute. Um, regular size, however many ounces, eight ounces. Retail price was $15.50. These things just keep going up and up and up and up and up in price. So, I love this scent that much that I wanted to smell like it. So, I've got a nice little variety, a nice little myriad of products over here. And then I've got the candles. Now, what candles did you think I got? Dun, 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 dun. Here's the lid. It's a snowflake. All right. And this candle is the elusive because I hadn't seen, I, I noticed it before, but I had not smelled it. I completely forgot to smell it. Cherry, cherry mocha. So the elusive to me, cherry mocha, it contains sweet cherry, decadent chocolate, not just chocolate, decadent, decadent chocolate, whipped cream topping with essential oils. When I smelled this in the store, I could have passed out. It, the only thing that this smells like is the Cellas, C-E-L-L-A apostrophe S. Those cherries that, it's a cherry with a little bit of cherry juice and it's contained inside of a little piece of chocolate, a really, really small piece of chocolate like this. And the only, as soon as you bite into it, there's the cherry and the cherry juice that comes out. It's C-E-L-L-A apostrophe S. When I smell this, that is all that I thought about was this smells like one of those chocolate candies or chocolate dessert treats. It just, th that is all that this is. It just smells like chocolate and cherries. That is it. So if you like those candies, those chocolates, and that's a little, little box, usually it's a white box, but for the holidays, they were in a red box. It is amazing. Oh, 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 oh. Also, that reminded me of... Lisa Kudrow from Friends. Um, look at this candle. So white wax. Do you see how from the edge there, there's eh, half an inch approximately? Do you know that when I was, because I opened up the candles and I look at them before I picked one, I, I wanted to call out to me. I wanted to say, bad enabler, pick me. So I was taking the lids off of like three of them. They were all much further down. They were all like down to where my thumb is right now. This one is up to like here. I was like, this one, is this one over poured or are the rest of them under poured? I don't know, but obviously I took the one with way more wax. So, and I put them, I put this one next to the other two. I was like, look at that. So, I don't know. I figure maybe I got an extra 20 minutes, 30 minutes burn time. We'll see what happens. I'm thoroughly looking forward to burning that. And I think that if you know me, you know what the other candle is. It's got a white lid. It's Land of Sweets. 
Land of Sweets, Land of Sweets. Look at the label. Look how cute. Uh, 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 what is it? Land of Sweets Blueberry Sugar. Bath and Body Works scented candle made with essential oils. This I wanted so badly and I hadn't gotten. I hadn't picked it up. They also still had the Pink Fairy Gumdrop, which I have two of now, but I, I didn't want to spend a lot of money. So this is Sweet Blueberries Brown Sugar Graham Cracker Crust with Essential Oils. And like I said to you about the Santa's, about the... Santa's blueberry shortbread. I love it when you smell blueberries mixed with some kind of a bready thing. Oh my god. This is so sweet, it like knocks you down. Beautiful blue wax, like a smurf. I just can't. This is really, it is the sweetest. It's a blueberry glazed in sugar. It's a blueberry glazed in sugar. Um, and I don't mean regular sugar, I mean like sugar flakes. The kind of sugar that you would get on a cookie. Um, the kind that you would like flake off and if you put the cookie in the microwave for say 20 seconds and you touch the cookie, the melted sugar sticks to your finger and you're like, oh my god, oh my god. And it's that kind of, that sweetness that you just love to dive into. Wrapped around a blueberry. With a hint of some kind of um. It's not a graham cracker. It says graham cracker? No. It's not a graham cracker crust. It's like... If anything closest, it would be a Nilla wafer. Do you know the Nilla wafers? That would be the closest thing. It's like a Nilla wafer smothered in boiled blueberries that were mixed with sugar and was poured on top of the Nilla wafer. That's exactly what this... It's called a Nilla wafer. Yeah, Nilla wafer. Oh my, Lanta. All right, so uh, these candles retail at $24.50. They were on sale today for $10.50, which I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. I would much rather go shopping today for the $10.50 than to have dealt with candle day for $9.50. Anyway, that's just me personally, um, because today the store wasn't bad. Like, it really wasn't bad. So the whole entire total for everything, and I'm talking about the two candles with... These two shower gels, these two shower gels, this fine fragrance mist, fifteen fifty. These two bubble baths for fourteen fifty each. And oh no, the Mary Cherry is over there by itself. I can't reach it. Ah, okay. So the total for everything, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten items. The total for everything came out to forty one ninety. No. 38.57. 38.57. So that basically means my total discount was $119.43. Um, 38.57. I'm giving you the total without tax because each place has different tax. Um, 38.57 for 10 items means that on average, if you had to amortize this, each item came out to $3.85. So that means that in a way, this cost me $3.85. I'm fine with that. So this cost me $3.85, this cost me $3.85, and I'm only doing it that way because it was divisible. The 10 is an easy number to divide into. So that being said, don't forget to use um, Rakuten, R-A-K-U-T-E-N, the link is down below if you're shopping online. Um, since, since we're here and I have some stuff that I just received, I'm going to show you what this stuff is because it's amazing. And if you um, are interested, then this is all from the same place. And then I'm going to have something else. I showed you the chocolate. Showed you Bath and Body Works. Um, life has been decent. Um, I just enjoying, hoping that the camera doesn't fall. I still need a phone. Um, anyway, so this is all from the Conjured Shop, one of my favorite places. I much so I'll buy shower. The Conjured Shop I don't believe sells shower gels. Um, shower gels I'm fine with Bath and Body Works. Um, candles Bath and Body Works fine. Stuff for the body. I want, for me, I want stuff that does not come from, typically, that doesn't come from somewhere where everyone can get it. I want stuff that's more small batch. I want stuff that's more personalized, more personal, um, and actually like really, really, really healthy for my skin. So that's why I'm a big proponent of Conjure Shop. Um, I don't know where to start with this. All right, so first I'll start, which this is going to be in an empty video actually. Not this one, the one that this is replacing. So I finished up my, it's a lip scrub and a face scrub. I only use it on my lips though, I don't use it on my face. I'm, I'm like just super, super, super 
I want stuff on my lips. I want, and then this is what I want on my lips. Um, this is made with sugar, honey, coconut oil, and vitamin E. And it makes a great face scrub as well. It's eight dollars, and that's about it. It's just it's a beautiful lip scrub if you need one. I also picked up this. I'm not sure how long they carry it. It is limited edition. I love that they went all out and put it in its own little box if you're giving it as a gift. So Conjured, it is Sally's Song Perfume. Oh, by the way, it's Conjured Shop. C-O-N-J-U-R-E-D shop.com, S-H-O-P. This has notes of rose, black opium, amber, lavender, and fall leaves. It has a little batch number there. It's so adorable. I love what they do. Um, look at this. This is a perfume that you get. I believe this was $15. Um, I'm gonna try it on. So patient. It's so different. It's floral, but like a dark floral. And you know the difference between floral and dark floral? It's not, it's not roses. It's not baby's breath. It's a dark mysterious, and I love dark mysterious. The unfortunate thing is that I don't think they're gonna be carrying this for long. I think this is limited edition. So, I don't know. All right, so it says rose, black opium, amber, lavender, and full leaves. I love it. I, I'm i gonna try not to order too much more of it because I need to control myself. I have a hard time looking at that website. I put everything in my cart right away. Um, also picked up, now this is, so they do make custom oils, custom perfume oils, and custom body oils. I got two of them. Which one am I using? This one. So, um, these are in the scent, it's in the scent of winter, but I kind of made the scent up on my own. So I, let's see, I don't remember what I asked for. I don't, I don't know what actually what's in it because I don't remember what I asked for, but it's the most different scent I've ever had on, like literally ever in my life. It does not smell like anything else that I've ever used. This is four ounces. These bottles are normally, I think they're normally $20. They're 20 or 18. I think they're 20. Words fail me because it's that different. The base oil, by the way, is apricot. Um, so you see it was dated, so it was made on 1221. Apricot's the base. I just can't, I can't describe to you the scent, but because it is so wildly different. Anyway, um, the little perfume oil is, it matches the scent, by the way. And it's in jojoba oil. And then finally, the last thing that I got from Conjure Shop, because I had to, had to, had to, had to, had to try it. It was $12. It is Snickerdoodle Body Butter. I don't remember them making body butter before. So I don't know if this is their first venture. I should have asked. It actually smells like a cookie. I don't know how they do it. Um, look at this texture. Do you see that? I I have not tried this on my skin, ever. Oh my lanta! Holy moly! It's four ounces. The ingredients are shea butter, cocoa extract, apricot oil, fragrance oil, and arrowroot powder. All right, we're gonna see live. Can you see? Oh oh okay. Oh my! You know what? This really burns my britches. Like, honestly, I'm literally angry right now, and in a, in, a, in a good way. It feels amazing, and it leaves a sheen, and I like a sheen on my skin. See? It leaves a sheen. And it smells amazing. The reason why I'm mad is because I think this is limited edition. They're not going to be making it. Ugh. Not a fan. Not a fan of, of, of limited edition. I want it all the time. Okay, so I'm going to uh, probably have to go on and order some more stuff. Um, this is absolutely amazing. I think what it is... the sh I've had shea butter before. Shea butter doesn't really... Like, it does leave a sheen sometimes, but not all the time. Cocoa extract, I don't know about... Arrowroot powder, I don't know about. Fragrance oil, sure. Apricot oil, that's what leaves the sheen. Smart people. Very, very smart, Conjure Chap. Ugh.
Okay. I just smell like a cookie. I literally, I smell like a cookie. By the way, if you order this and um, if you happen to get this, if they still have it, I don't know. I can't stop smelling myself. I'm going to need to take a shower and wear this. Um, wear this today. If you do order this, do yourself a favor. They have an oil called Nymph, N-Y-M-P-H, Nymph. At the very least, get the perfume oil in Nymph with this. Because Nymph smells like anise, and it smells like anise or anise? I think it's anise. Um, nymph smells like anise and almond extract. It smells like a cookie. So if you put this on your body and then you take the um, Nymph perfume oil and dab it around your neck and dab it on your wrists and your pulse points, wherever else those are, I don't know. Is it a pulse point? I don't know. I feel my heart here. It should be, I sometimes feel my heart in my, in my like stomach. I don't know why. Um, so I uh, love all the stuff. This is the hands down winner. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I'm shook at this body butter. Anyway, this smells amazing. All right, so that's all my Conjured Shop stuff. Um, ConjuredShop.com. Uh, love them to pieces. Bath and Body Works. Before you go to the website, uh, Rakuten, link it down below. And that's it. That's been everything. And I will probably have to go back to use my coupon at Bath and Body Works at some point. Hopefully, there's no more candles. I don't need any more candles. But we'll see what happens, right? You know me. So, anyway, I will see you all soon. If you enjoyed the video, then by all means, thumb it up. If you would like to share this video with a loved one, by all means, share it. Um, sharing is caring. And uh, happy holidays to you and your loved ones. And that's it. I will see you all soon. XOXOXOXOXOXOXOXO. Oh, and Bad Enabler on Instagram. I always forget something, and I almost forgot that. Bad Enabler as one word on Instagram. I'm trying to post things here and there. We'll see what happens. XOXO, happy shopping.